Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, MyRenovation.net. Today's video is related to Chapter 7, Post Renovation and Warranties. In this video, we will be discussing planet check before the permit release and maintaining the building after construction. Please refer to this slide from our first video for the outline of the channel discussion. I thought it is especially important to talk about this subject today because of the Florida building collapse due to the sloppy maintenance. Some facts about this building. It was built in 1981. It was four years old concrete construction building, houses more than 136 units in total. Before the collapse, 9 million in repair needed. Report the highlight sloppy maintenance prior to the collapse. Concrete facts. What is the average lifespan of concrete? It's about 100 years. If properly cared for and maintained. Is concrete building safe? Yes, it is very safe for building occupants and environmental because of concrete is non-compostable material. It doesn't burn. Also, it will not experience rot or mildew. From the International Building Code, you will notice the type of construction related to the building height and the story allows. So this is the type of construction, one to five, and this is the building height, and this is the story allowed. So by contrast, Type one strongest is the strongest and the most severe. This table here, table 601 from the California Building Code explains the required fire resistance rating for each construction type. We will be discuss uh, the construction type later on in a different video. But in and this one here, you can you will notice that you have type one to type five, and then type one you have A and B, uh, type two A and B. So, for example, like if your building is type one A, so you need a three hour fire resistance rating for the exterior. So, how to search for the California Building Code online? It's actually it's very simple. I like actually to use the app code. So, all what you have to do is just on the search engine type CBC 2021 type of construction, uh, the link will give you, uh, we will actually gonna have a few links. One of them is upcode. If you click on the upcode, you will get the recent building code. The reason why I'm typing 2021, so I can get the, the most recent building code. Uh, concrete facts also, why aren't more building? and homes made from concrete in the US. The, big, the biggest factor is cost. It is, more, it is uh, uh, more expensive to build with concrete than with wood. So why it is more expensive to cost to build with concrete? Because of material cost, labor cost, engineering cost, time for concrete to cure. But anyhow, in the US, we typically use concrete for foundation, basement, and any walls that require high fire resistance rating, as we discussed in the previous slide. Uh, planet check. Planet check is a review of the drawing and the document by the building official for compliance with the building code. During a planet check, a plan reviewer provides comments on proposed plan the market changes that must be made for plans to comply with the health and safety regulation. So let me quick explain the process of the planning check. The project manager coordinate all the drawing and the document and submit them to the city or the county for review. Then we receive correction that will be coordinated with our consultant for revising the drawing and then we resubmit back to the city. Usually, the first comment we receive from the city uh, takes about 30 days, and the second comment, it takes about 15 days. So you submit your plan to the city, and 
they were approved and receive your building permit. Then after that, you start the construction and you went through all the city inspection during construction. And after the construction, you realize that there are issues with the building. Guess what? You cannot go after the city. Why? Because the responsibility are on the consultant, not the building official. Why? Because the city, they look into the health and safety regulation only. Now let's talk about building maintenance and remodeling. And the building maintenance is the door to safety. Building maintenance and remodeling, we have four different type of maintenance operation. Number one, routine maintenance. Two, preventive maintenance. Three, corrective maintenance. Four, cosmetic maintenance. Now let's go through each one. Routine maintenance. Routine maintenance usually related to regular, regular maintenance. Usually involve daily upkeep of the property, such as cleaning common area, cleaning windows and gutter, fixing leak, fixing broken or non-working window, uh, malfunction electrical outlet or switches. The, usually the routine maintenance is about 18% of the total maintenance budget. That's for commercial properties. Number two of the maintenance is preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance is necessary to prevent future defects or repair. Require routine inspections of building and equipment on the predetermined schedule. So we have to actually set a schedule and we have to follow the schedule. The preventive maintenance for commercial uh, includes replacing air filter, furnace inspection and testing. Uh, preventive maintenance for Residential includes a checking the stairs for loose steps or handrail, a check faucet, drainage, leak, windows, uh, uh, check uh, uh, leaks in the kitchen and the bathroom. This inspection will discover expensive mechanical and structure problem before they become major repair for safety hazard. The maintenance program, the preventive maintenance program help to reduce repair and replacement costs. Every property manager should be aware of the condition of the, and the operation of each property he or she manage. Building a checklist. You have to create this checklist and should, and should be done at least weekly. Checklist should indicate the needed repair and estimate cost. So you have to see exactly what you need and how much it's going to cost you. Now let's talk about number three corrective maintenance. Involves fixing items that require repair. Property managers should pay attention to other conditions that might lead to property damage and negatively affect the property value. Water from dishwasher or garbage disposal flowing into clogged pipe can cause a pipe to break or overrun, creating a flood. The overrunning water could ruin kitchen cabinet and floor. The wet floor is an ideal place for mold to grow. And instead of unclogging the pipe, which is inexpensive, a costly kitchen project may need to be scheduled. You should consider hiring a property manager company if you have a lot of properties or rental units. The property manager responsibility might include supervising and coordinating building maintenance and work order, doing light hand men work and cleaning work, resolving tenant concern and complaint, advertising, uh, showing and leasing the vacant unit, collecting and depositing rent. Number four of the maintenance, cosmetic maintenance. Cosmetic maintenance refer to maintenance that focus on 
retaining or improving the physical attributes of the property to increase its value. It can range from small projects such as painting, replacing a blind light fixture and uh, carpeting to a larger project such as new kitchen or uh, new renovation to a bathroom or a patch or deck. Defer maintenance. Defer maintenance is when obvious repair are needed, but postponed. And that's exactly what's happening in Florida. When defer maintenance happens, the building will deteriorate and it starts to lose value. Maintenance equipment inventory. This is just an equipment inventory template. So you need to keep the maintenance equipment inventory accurate. And uh, some of the information that you need to keep it on the uh, equipment list, uh, manufacturer name, operating uh, procedures, uh, purchase date and place, warranty, parts, and service history. Common exterior maintenance. Uh, these are some of the common exterior maintenance that you need to watch out for. Uh, entrance uh, steps, uh, doorway, uh, door and security entrance, driveway, fire escape, landscaping, mailbox, roof, stairs, handrail, sidewalk, uh, outer walls, windows. Some of the common interior maintenance, door unlocks, carpeting floor, elevator, electrical system includes outlet heating, air conditioning, vent, water heater, light fixtures, plumbing system and sewage system, plumbing fixture, a security system, inside wall stairs and An effective maintenance program will include the four different levels of maintenance, routine, preventive, corrective, and cosmetics. Preventive maintenance is a maintenance of the property necessary to prevent future defect or repair. Corrective maintenance involves fixing items that require repair. So the last thing I just wanna add uh, to this video is please check your property at least once a week to eliminate any future issues. If you see something that you don't know, even if it is small, please hire the professional to identify it for you. Thank you so much for watching my video and talk to you next time. Goodbye.